Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. Uh, we're checking out Quabba and uh, the Blow Holes, just north of Carnarvon, about an hour's drive, give or take. Uh, welcome, we hope you enjoy. I'm Brent, this is Kel, and together with our son Bear and dog Jazz, we're travelling Australia. Come and join us for our reality. So this is the campsite here at Quabba. Um, we're just got a nice little setup in behind the dunes. And we'll just go for a quick walk over to the beach. We're kind of just behind the dunes here, which break the wind a little bit. But yesterday it was blowing like 25 knots easy, and it was bloody uncomfortable. Today a lot nicer. So I'm just going to come check it out now. Come over here. Look at this, eh? How good is that? A couple more people down the beach today. Seagulls actually flying. Yesterday they were just hovering. Quite funny to watch. And I'm just tossing up whether there's enough wind to go for a quick kite. But, I don't know, it might be a little bit light at the moment. Let's see if it picks up a bit later on. Just enjoy the scenery for now. Ripper of a spot. Kind of got like a fringing reef out the back. Again, hard to see. Uh, but there is a bit of a boat channel and a little bit of a boat harbour there. They call it the boat ramp, but it's literally just sand. So, you'd either want to have a couple of trucks or just a small tinny or something to be able to put it in and out. We'd be able to get the um, boat loader and that down there, no worries, but it's just been too windy for us at the moment. Chuck it right at the start. Oh, the campgrounds, so if you go a bit further down where we are, there's uh, definitely more privacy. There's plenty of room to turn around if you've got a van. Uh, but it's I get, hard. yeah, I mean, these guys, I guess, from their camps get a view of the ocean. We're just slightly behind the dunes, but I think it's worth uh, giving up some privacy. I don't know if you can see it, but <clears throat> they're mighty stuck down there. There's a lot of digging going on. And some relaxed fishing as well. Yeah, I guess you might as well make the most of it while you're stuck. <laughs> Should we see if they need a hand? Better. Just, so, just... we've uh, found some friendly travellers that unfortunately have got themselves a little bit stuck. What's happened is he's just gone down, he's seen some tracks going down onto the beach here and he's just headed straight down. They were at quad bike tracks, not four drive tracks. So he's actually stuck on quite a bit of an angle. I've walked up rather than driving just to see how soft it was and had a chat to him and um, he doesn't have any tracks, doesn't have any snatch trap or anything. Um, so I'm going to go give him a hand to get out and uh, hopefully we can help him out and uh, not get too stuck ourselves. There's plenty of people around within a 10 minute walk if we do get stuck and we'll get them to give us a hand. So let's see how we go. Sure is. 
Yeah, well, I need to top up. They're stuck at the wrong time of day, that's for sure. Can't use that tow ball. No. Yeah. Good, good point. <laughs> Never, ever, ever put a snatch strap over a tow ball. <clears throat> they come off. It's not what I time. meant. That's not what I meant, but you got to hook it onto something, do you? Yeah, so I don't have a tow hitch. Sorry, I don't have a, a snatch strap hitch. So I put it inside and then through this, which is rated. If it comes off, it's not going anywhere. It's not going to come off. I've never seen them snap. But if you put it on these, the sheer pressure against it using a snatch strap is huge. And I have seen them come off. And when they go, there's so much force behind it. So please don't put them on there. The God. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Thank See ya. You Did your good deed for the day, babe? Yep. That was uh, going to be a hot time getting out of there in the middle of the day. Yeah, I've been stuck on a side angle like that before, and it's not very fun. No. So. So that was our, it's actually our first time in full drive in this car. <laughs> so pretty happy with that. It, um, yeah, it pulled her out pretty easy, I thought. Um, yeah, a lovely French, French, I'm pretty sure, couple. Didn't ask, but they definitely sound French to me. And they've been here in Australia two and a half years traveling around. Oh, sorry, a year and a half traveling around, hoping to do three years. And you know, they've just been doing like the farm work, recently been working in Denham and now just started work last week in Carnarvon uh, doing some fruit picking and things like that so sounds like they're having a great time. He's been here long enough to drink VB which uh, <laughs> you know it, we'll leave it at that. Hey, he was <laughs> lovely to offer you a beer. Oh that was that. lovely. He's yeah. been here long enough to know to offer a beer. <laughs> yeah nah, they were a good couple. They were. Safe travels to them hey? Yep, we'll see you around guys. <laughs> First card of the season! Got the 
the uh, cobwebs off. Almost. <laughs> well, I couldn't even get the, like get out of the water to come back around there. Once. Oh really? Oh mate, I'm so gonna ask you a question. No. Yeah, mate, go for it. We can share anyway. Yeah. He just doesn't want to hook you. habitat zone but you're allowed to take oysters um, or go squidding which is interesting uh, as you can see it is absolutely jam packed with oysters as well so that's probably why they allow you to take a few I'm just gonna go down and see if I can get a dozen or so for some Kilpatrick tonight it should be good Let's see how we go this could be interesting I'm sure we can make it work it's pretty nice down there to go. This is wicked. Check this out. Thousands of them. And this is literally just straight off the edge here. There is many, many thousands more out here. I might have a look, see if there's a few bigger ones. Not that these aren't decent size. Let's go for an explore. Heaps of little crabs and fish through here too. It's pretty cool. There's some sea urchins in there. You don't want to be getting them in your feet. Maybe giant clams. What a great spot. Alright, so the beauty of this is all you really need oyster knife. I didn't even have a hammer in the car so I'm just going to use some pliers to help get a bit of leverage on it. But uh, pick your fill. Just only take what you're going to eat and abide by any of the other uh, bag limit rules of course. to hop in. Got half a dozen. How beautiful are these clams? Love them. time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. I'm gonna do, just try some natural, just uh, my natural oysters, and do a couple of Kilpatrick on the barbie. Um, I'm no master oyster shucker, that's for sure. I think you get in around the base of them somewhere. This one's come pretty easy. Doesn't wanna give up. There you go. There he is in there. Quite little. Yeah, I think he's buried in there a bit. Mm. Go around. Break him off his shell. Sorry, mate. We'll go with a bit of uh, vinaigrette. Here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> oh, a bit too much there. Straight down the hatch. A bit too much vinaigrette. <laughs> no, he's good. I mean, they're a little bit different to what you get, you know, nice rock oysters over east in South Australia and that, but pretty good. Worth a try. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. 
stay out here and look at this mate. Beautiful. If you didn't know better, you'd think that's ice. That's salt. Salt spray. Be able to see this tiny little mini blowhole when this when this wave recedes. Yeah, just over there somewhere, bubbling away. Must be how they form. And that right there is why they say king waves kill because. You would have thought you could stand down there okay, and that's just come crashing over it. How wicked is the power of the ocean? Love it. per person per night to camp here. Um, no facilities except uh, dump point rubbish. There is a toilet however it's really just for day trippers and it's not really anywhere near the campsites. Um, what else? Yeah, River River spot. I think uh, we really enjoyed it. The, for people who want to get involved with some really close things to shore, snorkeling, that sort of stuff, you can just walk down. You don't need to be driving all the time. Uh, dog friendly, there is bait, so keep an eye out for that. Plenty of people around, it's so a very safe uh, campground, in my opinion. Um, just watch the weather, it can get a bit blowy, there's not a lot of protection behind the dunes. Uh, we got caught out last night because we didn't check the forecasts before this morning and I left the awning up. I would have just put it down last night otherwise, but uh... yeah, but really nice, easy, quick drive from Carnarvon. So it's, mm. if you stay there overnight, then it's a really what an hour if that yeah. to get here and a nice easy drive to set up yeah no, it's good heaps of little fishing shacks in that here i'm intrigued as to who owns them all must be carnarvon locals but yeah I'm, I'm sure there'd be some real big fish out there too we didn't get a line in the water this time uh just been a bit blowy most of the time but uh, yeah all right i'll see you all next good. time hope you enjoyed see ya So uh, there's not really enough room on the barbecue tonight with all the chicken we're doing. So I'm just gonna eat the rest of these natural. I've already eaten most of them. I'm gonna get a bit of Tabasco this time. I don't mind Tabasco with my uh, oysters. What do you like? Hmm. Oh, this one's a bit gritty where I've got into him. Hmm. Okay. Big sucker. Yum. Mm. Apart from the bit of shell, good stuff. Cheers.